Dr. Sean here with the Active Life, giving you some warm-up tips for 16.4. We look at this workout not as deadlifting, wall balls, rowing, and handstand push-ups, but more as a ton of midline work, all sagittal plane work, unless you want to argue the handstands are out of it a little bit, and a lot of hip hinging. Half the workout is hip hinging. So our warm-up, 500 meter row, three rounds of five, four quality, five sumo inchworms. We'll demonstrate these at the end of the video. We'll also demonstrate the five suitcase deadlifts at the end of the video. But the weight for the suitcase deadlifts, 53 pounds per hand for the men, 35 pounds per hand for the women. Five pause goblet squats. That pause is obviously going to be at the bottom, 53 pounds for men, 35 pounds for the women, followed by a 20 second handstand hold. When you finish your three rounds of that for quality, you're gonna come into another three round exercise. Three deadlifts, 155, 105. Five paused wall balls, just like the goblet squat. You're gonna hold those at the bottom. Three handstand push-ups. If you're not good at handstand push-ups, if you're working for every rep, maybe just do one here or do them as pikes on the box. Then when you're done with all of your three rounds here, you're gonna do 10 calories at 85% effort. So you can see what it's gonna feel like to try to get yourself to those 55. A few other tips to point on. Should you wear a belt in this workout? Sure. Um, if the deadlifts are gonna give you trouble, wear that belt in the very beginning. Um, for those of you who like to rip your shirt off during the workout, make sure the belt's under it so that when you take your shirt off, it's already there. Um, your pace on the deadlifts. Do not do singles. Again, do not single deadlift. All of your deadlifts should be done as at minimum doubles. It is much harder for you to create midline spinal stability every single rep than it is for you to maintain it from rep to rep. Use the reversal of force from the floor. Stay stiff. Do one to two, I'm sorry, do two, three, four, five set reps. No singles on the deadlift if you can avoid it. If you start jackhammering, you've gone too far, take a break. Um, flat shoes. I've seen people wear Olympic weightlifting shoes for deadlifts. Um, bad idea. It's a bad angle. People who weightlift competitively are going to tell you that they wear as flat a shoe as they possibly can uh, when they deadlift. So going back to stopping before that last effort rep, that's the jackhammer deadlift that we see sometimes, the pull, 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 pull. It's too late, right? We want you to think about stopping before that really high effort rep. Save yourself, give yourself five seconds, go right back to the effort. But this way you don't ever get into that point where you cannot pick the barbell back up. You don't want to go back to the deadlift and be doing the cat, and you don't want to be going to the handstand push-ups and be standing on your head. Lastly, talking about those handstand push-ups, no pile driving, right? So if you're doing kipping handstand push-ups, make sure you have a mat under your hands and your head and make sure that you're absorbing that force nicely with your shoulders, that you're not just slamming your head into the ground, right? There is life after 16.4 and we'd like you to enjoy it. So, so for the suitcase deadlifts, you're just gonna set up a kettlebell on either side of your feet, bend down just as you would for a regular deadlift and pick it straight up. If you have a hex bar, you can feel free to use the hex bar in place of the kettlebells or farmer's handles, whatever it is that you're using. For a sumo inch room, all we're gonna do is spread our feet a little bit, just like we're doing a sumo deadlift or a sumo squat. And we're gonna do the exact same thing as a normal inch room. We're gonna come down to the ground, keeping your back nice and stiff, walk yourself out to a handstand position, do a push up, walk your hands back in. I would say good luck on 16.4, but that would insult your preparation. Until next time, this is Dr. Sean with The Active Life.